Hey guys, what's going on? The VHS Bernie back here once again, and this is going to be a update video for uh, Saturday, July 27th, 2019. I've got a few VHS tapes, one book, and a couple CDs to show you guys for this video. So yeah, uh, not a huge update this time, but I would say quality over quantity this this time around so yeah I I got some pretty pretty neat uh, stuff today I'd say so let's just uh, let's just get started uh, excuse me <clears throat> all right so we're just gonna start the update so let's get started we're gonna start with the uh, VHS tapes that I got. Alright, so let's get started. So I got got two blank, two brand new blank VHS tapes. I got a Sony and a Maxell. So yep, I will hopefully use those at some point. Hopefully. Alright, but now to some official VHS tapes I got. First up, I got the MGM UA Big Box VHS of Clash of the Titans, the original Ray Harryhausen version. Yeah, and that is, that is some of the coolest VHS artwork I've ever seen. I, I love this artwork. Yeah, this is a, this is a really cool uh, Big Box uh, VHS of this film. So yeah, very cool to uh, add this to the uh, collection. So, yep, so you just saw the front, sides, here's the top, the bottom, and the back. Experience the fantastic. Yep, movies read PG. So, yep. Uh, the film's from... The film's from 1981, and... It says... Well... It says Graphic Design Copyright 1981 Metro Golden Mayer Film Corporation. I don't know, this, this might be a 1981 VHS, but... I don't... I think it might be later. Because I believe if it, was for, if it was from 1981, it would have the uh, MGM CBS video logo on it. So I think this was originally a 1981 uh, MGM CBS video release, but this is a later uh, re this is a later uh, reprint with the MGM UA home video logo on it. I could be I could be mistaken. See, so yeah, I. So yeah, this might be a 1981 VHS, or it might be later. But there's no other year but there's no other year list besides that. But anyway, oh yeah, and here's what the the inside of it looks like. There's the cast list and the tray, which the tray has a little bit of a uh, crack in it right there. But besides that, this is in really good condition for its age. Hang on a sec. So, yep. And... Here's the tape with the vertical sticker label in the tan lid. And... There's, oddly enough, no print date or end label on this copy. So, yeah. So, very cool. Alright. <clears throat> <coughs> uh, 
Um, excuse me. All right, let's keep going. Up next, I got the Spanish subtitled printing of Land for Time, The Big Freeze. As it says, you can see right here, it says, uh, La Grand Helada, which means The Big Freeze in Spanish. So yeah, this is the Spanish subtitled version of The Land for Time 8, The Big Freeze. Yep. Here's the spine. And you can see, now as it say, La Grand Helada right there, but right here where it says Volume 8 in Roman numerals, it actually says Volume N 8, again in Roman numerals. That's cool. In the back, and the description is entirely in Spanish. Yep. Of course, it's from 2001. So yeah, very cool to have another Spanish subtitle VHS for my collection. Here's the sticker label. And... This was printed in the 48th week of 2001. Yep. So there you go. Alright. Up next I got the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, the Collector's Edition. This one has the episode, which you can't tell because it's covered up by this price sticker, but the episode on this one is Lucy Hunts Uranium. There's, yep, here's the spine of it, and here's the back. Original air date for this episode was January 3rd, 1958. Yep, this is a 1993 VHS. sticker label, and this is a later reprint. The print date is July 9th, 1999. So this tape did just turn, tw so this tape did turn 20 earlier this month. So, yep. Or wait, did I, am I getting that right? Yeah, this tape did turn 20. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, conf I was confused for a second because I was, I was, I was born in a uh, 2000, not 1999, so, yeah, I would be 19 and this tape is now 20 years old. Sorry, I got a little conf confused there for a second. And, anyway... <laughs> Uh, now onto some slip covers. First up, I got this Photography 101 Program 1 Mother Nature's Studio Beginner to Intermediate Series, supported in part by Kodak Canada Incorporated. Uh, yep, from Photography 101. Discover the joy of photography as seen on public broadcast television. Yeah, this uh, this looked interesting, so I just thought, thought I'd pick it up. There's the sides, top which has no writing, and the back. Yep, here's the back of it. Yeah, this is volume one of a th of a of a uh, four volume uh, s uh, series. A great resource for taking good pictures is Photo Life magazine. An extremely helpful series that should be in all schools says CBC Television. We liked what we saw very much says PBS Television. And this is done by Panacea Learning Systems Incorporated, 
from Tor Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So yeah, this is actually so this is actually a Canadian tape, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is this again. This looked pretty. This looked pretty interesting. I'm gonna have to uh, give this a watch. Here's the tape with the sticker label and the oversized reels, and no print date. And if you look, it actually says right here with these uh, printings. It actually says, if you can see, it says T30. VCR right there. Yep, and then a bunch of numbers. Yeah, really cool that it actually says uh, VCR right there. That's that's just very uh, interesting. So, yep. Alright. Up next... This one looked interesting as well. Uh, this is video postcards. It's showtime at Miami Seaquarium. Celebrating 25 years of Flipper at Miami Seaquarium. Yeah. This, again, this one just looked interesting, so I thought I'd pick it up as well. Here's the spine. Here's your spine. The top. And the and the back, which is sideways, for so it can because it's meant to uh, look like a postcard. Yep. See, it says to and from right there. Yeah, there there is no year on this tape whatsoever. So yeah, and there's something very interesting about this tape that I'm about to show you guys. There's something very funny about this tape that I'm about to show you guys. Here's the tape with the very tiny sticker label, and look at this. So, so, so it's got the title. It says, picture. If this tape shows a distorted or snowy picture, Adjust the tracking knob on your tape machine until the picture clears up. Okay, but then this is my favorite part. Look what it says right below it. It says copyright. If you copy this tape, your machine will self-destruct. I. Yes, I am. I am not kidding. That that is literally what it says for the copyright. If you copy this tape your machine will self-destruct. Yep. I... I think that pretty much speaks for itself right there. And take... And it's, and it's got this, uh... Recorded on Scotch Color Plus videotape your assurance of quality. So yeah, here's the sticker label, and it's also got the oversized reels on it. And... There's a sticker on the back here, but there's no print date. So, yep. Still, still can't get over that uh, that copyright notice. That's just that's just weird. And of all the tapes they could have used it on, they use it for this one. That's just weird. Anyway, all right, let's continue on. I got this next one's still sealed. I got another uh, one of these Yankee World Series releases. This is the 1996 World Series official official video. This is the New York Yankees versus the Atlanta Braves, October 20th through October 26, 1996. So, yep. 
and this is still factory sealed. Originally, $19.99 is just a retail price, but it was marked down to a uh, $17.96. And it's got the Fox Saturday on the uh, string wrap. Stick on a sticker there. So, yep, I have a couple of these uh, World Series releases that feature the New York Yankees, so I figured I'd pick this one up as well. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. It's 65 minutes. This commemorative video includes exclusive player interviews, exclusive game, post game, and parade footage plus division series and league and championship series highlights. Yep. And this is this is a Orion Home Video release. And it's a nice size 6 VHS. Sponsored by WFAN Sports Radio 66 AM New York. So, yep. And like I said, this is still factory sealed, so... We're going to get it out of the shrink wrap right now. Alright. Put the camera down while I... Get this out of the shrink wrap. Huh? Okay. Plastics off it, but it's got this. Uh, it's got the Orion. It's got a Orion Home Video uh, seal sticker on it. It's kind of cool. So I just got a. Oh, it's got a Orion Home Video sticker on it. It's kind of cool. So I just got a. Oh, it's 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 got a. Oh, stuck together. Alright, well, I didn't even really have to uh, break that seal sticker. It just kind of came apart. <laughs> Probably because it's just so old and uh, it's been on there for years. It's <laughs> Probably why it did that. It's got some, it's got some inserts. Put that aside. Let's see. It's got this thing. The official MLB gear from Starter. Basically just a whole bunch of uh, sports merchandise. Uh, this uh, this like little rebate offer, like mail-in thing for the World Series highlights on video. Which is cool. From 1943 to 1996. Each year, the official World Series video can be ordered by calling that phone number, which probably doesn't exist anymore. That's kind of that's pretty cool. And then uh, this little thing for World Series uh, watches. All right, Inter interesting. Here's the, here's the tape with the sticker label, which, even though this is an Orion release, it does not have the Orion Home Video logo anywhere on the uh, label. But it's actually but it's also really co-produced by uh, Major League Baseball Home Video. So yep, and print date is November 6, nineteen ninety six. All righty. Now hang on a second while I get all this, get the promo inserts back in. All right. So, got a couple more Christmas tapes to show you guys. I got Christmas in the Country from the Gaither Gospel Series with Bill and Gloria Gaither and their homecoming friends. Yeah, I have another one of these Bill and Gaither, uh, Bill, bleh, 
Bill and Gloria Gaither releases, which is A Christmas Homecoming. Here's the sides. Oh. The, the top, which is... Unfortunately, the... Yeah, unfortunately, the top's kind of uh, messed up right here, but that's okay. And the back, huge list of songs there. Filmed at the Alabama Theater in Birmingham, Alabama. This is a 2000 VHS, and it's 110 minutes. So yeah, this might be something really cool to uh, just pop on... Uh, just put on the TV during the uh, during the holiday season. Here's the tape with the very uh, blue and red uh, sticker label, and the print the print date is uh, it's in dark red text. Uh, Print date is October 18th, 2000. Yeah, unfortunately this... This... Part, this top part's... The, like... This one corner here is pretty much destroyed, but... It's better than nothing. I also got... The next one I got is... An Irish Christmas. A musical celebration. A Galway Christmas. This is a Quest Star release. <laughs> I believe this is my. S I want to say it's my. Th actually, my third Quest Star Christmas release. Because the other two, I believe, are. Uh, I have like a Bing Crosby Christmas one and uh, another, another one which I believe is called The Story of Silent Night. Which I think that one was done by Quest Star. Yeah. So I believe this is now a second or third Quest Star Christmas release that I have. So yep, here's the front, here's the sides, the top, and the back. Celebrate an Irish Christmas past with a lively Christmas present. And... Also sold as a Galloway Christmas. It's approximately 57 minutes. And the copyright date for this is MC MXC VIII. If you guys know what that Roman numeral stands for, uh, let me know in the comments because I usually don't, I'm not too good with my uh, Roman numerals, at least not really big ones. So yeah, if you guys know what year MCMXCVII stands for, let me know. So yep. Here's the tape with the ink label. And... There's some printings, but no print date. And I'd be willing to bet this probably has the uh, static roll of death at the end. You know, the strange VHS ending. Okay. And the last Christmas tape that I got is The Babysitter's Club, The Babysitter's Special Christmas. 1993 released by Scholastic and Kid Vision. Yep. Here's the sides. This is apparently volume. This is volume five in the uh, Babysitters Club video series. The top and the back. Yep, it's thirty minutes long, and it's actually got the "We Make Collectability a Way of Life" uh, tagline that usually appears on a lot of Good Times tapes, which I believe the Babysitters Club videos were originally released, were originally first released by Good Times Home Video, but this one is done, but this one's distributed by uh, Kid Vision. 
So, yep. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And no print date. So there you go. Up next, I got two uh, screener tapes. Well, one's a uh, demo tape, and the other one is a for your Emmy consideration release. So first up, I got the demo tape of the Water Boy with Adam Sandler. March's number one title, over one hundred and fifty million dollars. Yep, fully screener for very retailers only. So yep, yet another demo tape for my collection. Here's the sides, top, and the back. I'm sure I'm sure you guys know what to do by now if you want to read the info on this demo tape. Yep. Alright. Ink label. Print date is December 13th, 1998. As you can see, this tape is at the very, very end, actually. And it's got the Buena Vista Castle hologram sticker. Alright, and like I said, this other one is a for your Emmy consideration release. This is Undefeated. This is a HBO movie from uh, 2003, which, which stars uh, John Leguizamo. Yep. Sides, which have no writing on them. The top and the, bo the bottom, which also has no writing in the back. Yep. The film's from 2003, and this is a 2004 tape. And cover opens up like this. And I'll just quickly scan through the list of everything it was nominated for. There you go. If you want to pause that just real quickly and read it, go right ahead. Alright. There's the inside artwork. And of course, slide slides out like this. It's kind of hard to get this out with only one hand. There we go. Here's the sticker label. Air date for this was... July 26, 2003, which means this movie turned, if I can do my, if I can do my math here, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, this film, this film did just turn, uh, 16 years old as of, uh, as of yesterday. Let me, let me just double check to make sure I did that correctly. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, this movie did did officially turn 16 yesterday, which is cool. So here's the sticker label. The print dates are April 22nd and April 26, 2004. Okay. So there you go. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. It's it's actually it's uh it's nine fourteen at night, and I'm getting kind of tired. So let's speed this up a bit. 
All right. Up next, I got two tapes from the Honeymooners Classic 39 collection. I got Volume 7 and Volume 20. Uh, of course, these are these are both from 1993. So here's Volume 7 of 20, which features Better Living Through TV and Mind Your Own Business, which it's got someone wrote TB on there, whatever that means. Here's the sides, top, back. Uh, original air date, original air date for Better Living Through TV was November 12th, 1955, and original air date for Mind Your Own Business was May 26, 1956. And the classic line from Better Living Through TV was, uh, Oh, it can core an apple, ha ha. Which was a uh, quote by uh, Ralph. And the classic line from My Own Business was, $40 in one day, which was also a quote from uh, Ralph. So, yep, 50 minutes. Sticker label, and also has TB written on the label as well. The sticker label and uh, printed in the 17th week of 1993. And there's the barcode. So, yep. And then here's volume 20 of 20. Which does include the Christmas episode, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and also has Young at Heart. So, yep. Sides, top, back. Original air date for Twas the Night Before Christmas was December 24th, Christmas Eve, 1955, and original air date for Young at Heart was February 11th, 1956. And. The classic line from Twas the Night Before Christmas was, He said it was made across the seas. I thought he was kidding me. But right there it says, Made in Japan. Which, again, is a quote from Ralph. And, uh, Young at Heart, the classic line was, This is what all of us cats wear. I got it, I got it. I'm hip, ready to go. I'm gone. Which is another quote from Ralph. I wonder if, like, all the uh, classic lines on these VHS tapes are uh, from uh, Ralph. Which of uh, which Ralph is the main character of the show, played by, of course, played by uh, Jackie Gleason. So, yeah. Sticker label. And this one's actually a later printing. The 36th week of Night's Night 5. And I can't tell if this is a good barcode or a boring barcode. I think it's a boring barcode, so this one probably won't have anything at the end. Unlike the, unlike the uh, other one I just showed you. So there we go. And the last VHS I got, this is a, uh, a season VHS box set from HBO Video. This is The Sopranos, the complete fourth season VHS box set. Yep. Uh, so yep, The Sopranos, the complete fourth season. I also have seasons, the complete first, second, and third season of The Sopranos on VHS. And now I also have the fourth season on VHS. And... I gotta be honest, uh, up until I found this, I had no idea the fourth season of Sopranos was even released on VHS. I was under the assumption that only the first three seasons of, of The Sopranos were released on VHS, but I guess the fourth season was released too, so... Yeah, I, like I said, I, I didn't even know... I knew the first three seasons were on VHS, but I had no idea the fourth, I had no idea the fourth season was. Yeah, I've never seen this before, so this must be, uh, out of all the, uh, VHS season sets of The Sopranos, this must be the, uh, 
the, the hardest to find one because I didn't even know this one existed. So yep, of course it opens up like this. So yeah, here's the there's the front of it. There's this side. It's the other side. The top. Whoa. Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's kind of that's cool. Hello. Here's the top. The bottom, which has nothing on it except a closed caption logo and a barcode. And there's you guys again. And here's the back of it. So, yep. It opens up like this, and it's got a list of all the episodes that are on each volume. Which is cool. And there's the mural that the five tapes make up. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the individual volumes. Alright, so here's Volume 1, which has Episode 1, which is For All, Depths, Public and Private, Episode 2, No Show, and Episode 3, Christopher. Sides. Oh, the top and the back. Running time of this volume is 180 minutes. And... Yeah, this season originally aired in 2002, and this VHS says from 2003. Here's the ink label. Print date is September 30th, 2003. Here's Volume 2. This has Episode 4, which is The Weight, Episode 5, which is Pai oh Mai, and Episode 6, which is Everybody Hurts. Sides. Oh. Top. Back. Again, running time of this volume is 180 minutes. Ink label. This one was also printed on September 30th, 2003. Volume 3, which has Episode 7, which is Watching Too Much Television. Episode 8, which is Murders and Acquisitions. And Episode 9, Whoever Did This. Again, this one's 108. This one runs 180 minutes. Ink label. This one was printed on October 1st, 2003. So this was printed one day after the first two volumes. And hang on, guys. I got a little spit on my uh, camera. Volume 4, which features Episode 10, The Strong Silent Type, and Episode 11, Calling All Cars. This one runs 120 minutes long, because there's only two episodes on this one instead of three. And the episodes are an hour long each. Ink Label. This one was printed October 2nd, 2003. And Volume 5, which has Episode 12, Eloise, and Episode 13, White Caps. This one, this one actually runs 135 minutes. Excuse me. Okay. 
Ink Label, October 2nd, 2003. Mm -hmm. So same print date as Volume 4. So, which means Volume 3 is the only tape that doesn't share a print date with any other volume. Because... Because uh, Volumes 1 and 2 were both printed on September 30th, 2003. Volume 3 was printed October 1st, and then Volume 4 and 5 were both printed October 2nd. So, yeah, Volume 3 is the only volume that does not have a uh, matching print date. Which is interesting. And it, has a, and, it, and it has a couple inserts, too. It's got this thing... This thing for uh, the Tao of Bada Bing, words and wi words of wisdom from the Sopranos. The most memorable moments from all four seasons of the Sopranos are included in this collection of dialogue and one-liners. And then on the back, it's got an ad for a bunch of other Sopranos uh, merchandise. And then uh, win more if your favorites. This little, uh, I guess, sweepstakes thing from HBO Video, which it advertises uh, The Sopranos, which I have the first, which I have seasons one through four of that on VHS, Band of Brothers, which I have the VHS set of that, and Sex in the City, which, even though I know there's VHS sets that I really have no desire to uh, get those. But yeah. Yeah. So very cool to have another uh, season set of The Sopranos on VHS. And uh, I want to say I might have all the seasons of Sopranos that released on VHS. I'm not sure how many uh, seasons of this show there were or how many of them were released on VHS. Like I said, I thought there were only three of these, but... I found today there is a fourth one, so I'm gonna have to look it up to see how many of these there were. I know, uh, because I know, uh, uh, all ten seasons of, uh, Friends were released on a DVD and a Blu ray, but only the first three seasons were released on VHS. Alright, so those are the VHS tapes I got. But I also got a couple other things. Uh, I got this, uh, I did get a, uh, book. And this was a, uh, a really cool book that I thought would be a fun thing to uh, read. I got this book about the Coen Brothers. The Coen Brothers, the story of two American filmmakers. Yeah, it's, this is a really cool book uh, all about, uh, as it says, uh, it's about... The uh, behind-the-scenes stories for uh, every uh, Coen Brothers movie, and this is this is actually from uh, 2000. So it's got basically everything from Blood Simple up to uh, Oh Brother Where Art Thou. So yeah, I thought this would be a pretty cool book to uh, read uh, since I I I am a big fan of uh, The Big Lebowski. And I do have a couple of the Coen Brothers movies on VHS as well, so... I thought this would be something really cool to uh, read. So yeah, I'll have to, uh... I'll have to, uh... Go through this, uh, book. This could, this could be a very fun thing to, uh... Actually read through, so... Yeah, hmm. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, I might, I'll probably have to read this book uh, either as a uh, a summer read or uh, as a uh, winter read when I'm uh, out of uh, college for uh, winter break. So yeah, I'll have to uh, definitely read that. And then lastly, I did get. I'll just quickly show you guys. Uh, I did get four CDs. All. All the, and all these are uh, Christmas uh, related. I know, shock, shocker, right? 
but I did get some interesting ones. Uh, I got Island Christmas, holiday music with a reggae beat. This is interesting. Uh, it's got three tracks on it. It's got Reggae Christmas Party Mix, Reggae Christmas Instrumental Mix, and Reggae Christmas Radio Mix. So, it's got... Basically, it's got three different mixes of, I ass assumably, the same uh, s uh, song, basically. That's why I'm... It's got, like, three mixes of the same exact uh, thing, which is interesting. Uh, total, time of this, total time of it is 46 minutes and 12 seconds. There's the CD, and there's you guys again. Hello. So, yeah, that that should be something uh, pr pretty inter that should be something interesting to uh, check out. Christmas with the Lennon sisters, very cool. Uh, originally released as a uh, record in 1968, but obviously this CD is from uh, much late much later on, and again it's another clear disc. There's you, and there's you guys again. Okay, there's the CD. I got Christmas at Boots Place. Boots Randolph with Tommy Newsom's Jazz Tet. So yeah, say uh, Boots Randolph uh, Christmas album. Of course, Boots Randolph is most famous for uh, writing uh, the song Yakety Sax, also known as the Benny Hill theme song. <laughs> there we go. And lastly, this one looked interesting. The Piano Guys Christmas Together. Yeah, I... I'm a, I didn't really know who these guys were, but I looked, I looked them up online. Uh, uh, excuse me. I looked them up online real quickly uh, while I was in the store, and uh, they they sound like they sound like an interesting band. So I figured I'd pick the CD up and uh, check it out to see what it's about, basically. There's the seat. Oh, excuse me. There's the CD, and there's the inside artwork. So there you go. All right. So that was my update video for today. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, sm I, I say smaller update, but we still. We still did 40, we still got 48 minutes in, but I didn't have very much, so I went a little slower with my, uh, I, I went a little slower today because there wasn't as much, so, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next update video, which might be next week, it might be a couple weeks from now, I, I don't know, my, whenever, whenever my next update video is, I will... See you guys then. Take care, everyone.